All right, this is the NC Go FX2000-3. This is the one you get when you uh, sign up for T-Mobile Business Account. So the reason I was interested in seeing this one is because it has some ports on the back. I picked off the covers. These are called TS9 connectors. They allow you to plug into an antenna and, well, and easily go from a T uh, TS9 to an SMA connector. And now we can hook up some real antennas. However, I did find upon uh, early inspection that... Uh, the the bands that are available from these ports are not really what's used for T-Mobile. So it's kind of a a misnomer to say that it has external antenna ports because these do not work for T-Mobile. So let's pop it open. Uh, I'm going to zoom out here, show you one of my tricks, taking stuff apart. I take a lot of stuff apart. That's a mini ice cube tray. It came in my college fridge. I have it all these years because, uh, well, it's great for taking stuff apart. It's not great for ice cubes. But when you do take things apart, it's good to keep the screws in order because they can be different lengths, they can be different threads, and they can look very, very similar. So as we make our way around this, I'm just going to put first screw, first screw session here, second, third, fourth, and then work my way around. It just helps keep things in order. It makes it easier to get it back together and have no extra screws. So let's see. What we want to do is get a pick in here. Oh, it's really tight. Yeah. All right. It looks like we have space in the front. What you want to do is go for a lot of ground to get... Ooh, a lot of ground covered right there. Got to pick in. And then you can work another side. That can work really to your advantage. Oh, wow. It is tight in there. All right. I'm going to see if I can't pick it with a, a blade of some sort. You gotta be careful because plastic won't more plastic, but metal oh sure will. Alright. <laughs> Whew. Like a Mission Impossible movie. Alright, here's a heat sink, and I see some thermal pads. Uh two different types, three different types of thermal gap pads, and a nice heat sink. Appears to be aluminum. Interesting. Alright, so uh there we go. That's one level deep. What, oh my gosh. That is very thoroughly integrated. Um, looks like I'm going to have to take out... I'm going to have to take out corner screws here. Alright, this will go in my second, second order bins. One. Ooh, threading on this is different. See, this is plastic thread. See that? Totally different than machine thread. But the first ones were machine thread. They're about the same size screw, and obviously they use the same size screwdriver, so it's good to keep them separate. All right, so I only have, I'd see at least four. I'm looking at a possible five and possible six. Let me take a look down in there. Yep. Plastic thread or machine? Machine, or plastic. Oh, wrong bin. You saw that one coming, didn't you? Those ones look good. There's my goofy one. Alright. Someone's going to say, move your hand! I can't see! <laughs> There's nothing to see here. Alright, let's see what we're looking at. See if it'll dump out now. Oh, we've got some movement. I can feel it. All right, I got my SIM card in here still. I need to toaster that out. Toaster, toaster. Okay, give me something to poke with. They say you shouldn't stick metal stuff in there, so I'm going to try and go really shallow and just get the card. You don't want to cause any damage in that port. Ooh, I'm going to put that in a little bin over here. There we go. Aha! Look at that. Urgh. Okay. It's coming out. It just wants to come in out at its own time. You can sometimes reach in the ports and coerce certain stuff. There we go. I got the whole thing down now. 
Wow. Whew. Okay, so I see some antenna leads here. And... Huh. We're going to have... Ooh, there's some antenna leads right here. In fact, these are the ones that go to this port. This port and this port go and... Wow, different size gauge, but this one and this one go to these ports. So the white and the blue, a white and a black, a thicker gauge. I also see a port down here of the blue. It's a different, same color, but a different gauge, so it's not the same wire. This has all got to come off. Let's see what this stuff does. We'll call these third order screws. I go in the third bin. What is this little buddy here? Looks like it was. Ooh. Oh my goodness. All right, these are antenna pairs, guys. So these are antennas. And Wi Fi and GPS. Those are probably the ones that I want. Oh, why are they? They're kind of uh, pogo pins, if you will. I don't know if you can see that. They're spring pins. And. Can we get a better close-up of that? Yeah, there's spring pins that just make contact. So see, there's contact pads right there. And where's the contact pins for the Wi-Fi? Wi-Fi is over here. Okay, the Wi-Fi is uh, this black wire that goes here. So these Wi-Fi's actually aren't being used. Interesting, because there's no pads touching it. However, this GPS goes to this antenna right here. Interesting. So, global positioning satellite. Why is that necessary? See a green wire, or sorry, a blue wire here. That's interesting. Um, let's lift up some of these other stuff. If you've ever seen a connector like this, these ones lift up in the back. There's a little black lift there. Once you get this lifted up 90 degrees, is it 90 degrees? It does not want to come up full 90 degrees. It's stopping at 45, but now, yep, I should be able to slide the tail out. And these are also interesting connectors. These can be tough to reseat, but hey, I'm here. Let's pop this up. I get something with a little more leverage. They're just a connector. Ooh, it's a beautiful connector, actually. Wow. Look at all those pins. So you know none of those are high power. <laughs> and for, given the proximity, they're probably not high frequency either. Uh, yeah, they are really close to one another. Okay, I see some writing all over the place on this. Looks like I could take this board off now if I just pick this stuff off. These just lift up. And there's little guide wires, or little hold, hold, there we go, they just hold the wire as it runs along. And I'm going to pick this one too. And this black wire, you see these little, these little cleats that hold onto the wire? We can just remove those carefully. There, just walk them around. All right, there we are. <laughs> One layer deeper. All right, I'm going to call these four, level four screws and just put them in at the next bin. Having a magnetic screwdriver is great. And a lot of people ask me about my screwdriver because it's a great one. I picked this up years ago. It's a will. I'll put a link to this. German-made screwdriver swivels on the end. You just leave it in your palm and twist. Super. I have a whole set of these. Fantastic. I mean, if you take stuff apart, you need a good screwdriver set. These come apart. Yeah, now having a good set of little screwdrivers is is key. This is a, no, size number one, but I have the double lot, and I have the triple lot, and I have the whole set. That's a standard size one. All right, let's pick this one. 
Just get your fingernail underneath it and pick. There we go. That comes up. These are those IPX connectors. And look at that. A little board's coming. Ooh, it's got one more of these little picks. But we already know how to remove those. Dun, 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 dun. What's fighting me? Something is fighting me. Feels like a magnetic something or other. Maybe it's nothing. Oh, it's just everyone fighting against me. Wow, what do we have here? Little red wire is interesting. Don't know what that component is, but it has... All right, my camera cut out, but we're back. So here's what I'm taking a look at. Um, we got this board up. Oh, let's see. Ah, there's a little tiny connector. Let's go ahead and liberate this one too. Is that glued? It is glued. All right, I'm gonna leave it alone then. But uh, I did notice these. These are the antennas right here and their pressure point, they're built into this plastic frame. One, two, three, maybe four. One, two, three, four, four, five antennas around, maybe a sixth over here, around the outside, and they're using pogo pins from these boards. However, can you see this? I don't know if we can zoom in and see this. Can I read the PCB? Here you can see. All right, let's move this down a little bit. There. This one says, a0 that says a4 these are little tiny IPX4 connectors it could be in, the a could stand for antenna a3 a6 um, don't know what this one is we might be able to run some antennas just out of here here just by feeling them out but there's no way of telling which ones they are you would kinda have to run them up attach them and then figure out later which ones were which yeah, so there are some little connectors here. That's an A2. There's an A6, A3. God, I see an A4. Starts with A0, though. Where is A1? See, if I can grab A0 and A1, I might bring them out and see what I could do. Because I might kind of control, I can control what plugs into those pogo pins. This is AW0. A7. Those, all right, so AW is, um, that goes up to Wi Fi antenna. Yeah, that touches an antenna that is marked as Wi Fi. So this is Wi Fi. Hmm. I'm going to look around and see what else I can find, but this is basically what we're looking at. There is no easy disconnect, reconnect, plug it back in, and we're off to the races. As you've seen, I've gone beyond. I'll even say I want to be on my comfort level a little bit. I've taken a ton of stuff apart. Glad I got this on video so I know where this wire goes. <laughs> well, guys, I got it working again. And you can see by the blue light that it is back on the network. And it's uh, actually pulling in uh, 5G. It actually works pretty well. So, yeah, it can be taken apart. It can be put to get back together. I do have some cables, some IPX4 connectors to try and bring some of those out. But... I think the easier way is just to take your, well, the can that we had originally and break out the leads this way. Much easier connectors to work with. These are IPX, but they're not IPX4. Those are really, really small. Anyway, guys, uh, there you go. That's, uh, that's my take on it today. And uh, thanks for watching. We'll catch you in the next one. Talk to you soon.